XML and document type definitions. See, an XML means extensible markup language describes the semantics of the text in a document using DTDs, while an HTML describes the format of a document. An HTML describes the format of a document and XML describes the semantics of the text in a document using DTDs. DTD means document type definitions. See, the DTD is itself described with a language which is essential in the form of a CFG mixed with regular expressions. The form of a DTD is doc type name of DTD, a list of element definitions. The form of an element definition is the element element name of description of the element. The description of elements are essentially regular expressions. See, you can observe that uh, when you are creating one XML document, at uh, first you are going to mention that doc type. So this doc type, uh, it is going to be follow the syntactic manner. In that you are going to mention that the doc type is 1.1 or 1.0 that you are going to mention or UTF or other things you are going to mention in that. So that also it is going to follow context free grammar. When you are creating XML document, you must mention doc type. The regular expression may be described in the following way. An element may appear in another element. The special term as PC, D, uh, PC data. The special term as PC data stands for any text involving no tags. The allowed operators are a vertical bar. Vertical bar means union. A comma a denotes concatenation. Three variants of the closure operators star plus question mark as described before. Star zero or more occurrences of. If you mention star, zero or more occurrences will be occurred on that regular expression or call that context free grammar. Plus one or more occurrences of question mark zero or one occurrence of star and question mark these two looking same and plus it is looking some, somewhat different one or more. It is taking at least one. See example of XML and DTDs, how we can represent a DTD for describing personal computers. See, in order to write uh, these XML document types, so here you are going to follow this kind of procedure. Each element is represented in the document by a tag with the name of the element and a matching tag at the end with an extra slash just as in html for example element model slash pc data which gives to model 4560 model see model it is starting with this one each element this element we are representing with model and which is closing with slash model so you just understand this statement each element is represented in the document by a tag with the name of the element and a matching tag at the end matching tag at the end if you close this matching tag with the end using extra slash then that element has been closed okay in the pcs so this is also having one matching tag that with extra slash it is closing suppose if you open pc tag that should be closed by the same matching tag with extra slash let us see another example, a description for two PCs using the DTD language. PCs, see for this PCs, there is a matching tag with extra slash and this PC, there is a matching tag with extra slash and here in this another PC, in this you can write any content and any tags you can insert in this but for this there is a matching tag and another one, processor, for processor model and manufacturer speed you are mentioned in the in between these two tags the matching tags so that it will appear on the screen suppose if you do not mention this you may get a error so which comes under weak typing so these errors you won't get at compile time you will get at runtime 
converting dtd rules which includes regular expressions into context free grammar productions see this regular expressions we are converting into context free grammar productions see element processor manufacturer model speed the processor tends to manufacture model speed this is one production see the commas mean concatenations already we have seen in the previous slides and element disk hard disk and cd dvd disk disk tends to hard disk or cd or dvd disk here this is a one production likewise the pc the pc is a one production for this production you can write it as model or pc processor ram disk okay likewise you can consider okay you must know that the second rule corresponds to the regular expression disk plus which means one or more disks the general technique for converting dtd rules which includes regular expressions into legal context free grammar productions the basis if the body of a production p is a concatenation of elements then p is in the legal form for cfgs let us see induction assume e1 and e2 are in legal forms see the first one a tends to e1 comma e2 you just consider as 1 a tends to bc let us take second one b tends to e1 and third one c tends to e2 likewise you just take all these productions let us try try to use the above rules to convert the following into legal context free productions whichever the rules we have mentioned in the previous slide based on that rules you just convert this elements into the legal context free grammars see element pc model price processor ram disk plus number of disk you can consider here see the solution is by first equation you can convert into pc to ab see here here is model price processor ram b is disk plus see if you can if you apply fourth equation in this let us take uh, it as b b tends to cb here c tends to disk here and by observation a and c may be eliminated here so the final result uh, you may get uh, pc tends to model price processor ram b and b tends to disk b or disk